What is up, gang? Nathan coming back at you with our monotype showdown live. We're playing some more fairy monotype. Very fun type. We had a blast of that yesterday, but we're going to build our own right now and build a mono ho team i discussed yesterday why i think that fairy lends itself surprisingly so better towards hyper offense than you'd expect so we're actually build our own right now uh hyper offense fairy builds most creative team name ever uh and so i normally start when i'm building hyper offense with my sweeper and then i build the rest of the team around it but one thing that i got yesterday again i don't want to have any shade on the sims team that we used yesterday far better player and team builder than i ever will be but one thing I don't like about that nature of team is I think Klefki is really, really good in these types of teams, especially we talked about how amazing spikes are. We talked about how good prankster is, all that stuff. But one thing that I feel strongly about is that if you give them screens, which is, makes sense because it also frees you have to use Clefable, yada, yada, yada. It feels like Klefki can't quite do as much. You can't, you know, stack different types of hazards on it. You can't, you know, we can do Toxic and Spikes and Thunder Wave and Dazzling Gleams, you can't set up on us for free. This is a really, really useful, strong Pokemon now that our opponent is gonna have a hard time swapping around, right? If you go to your uh, bulky Pokemon, they can get Toxic. If you go to your fast Pokemon, they can get Thunder Wave. We're setting up Spikes, which is an extremely controlling hazard. We have Dazzling Gleams, so you can't substitute on us for free. Really, really powerful Pokemon. Um, and then Leftovers too, so you actually live surprisingly long with your good defensive stats. You have the best uh, defensive typing in the game. So I think it's it's a surprisingly good Pokemon. And by forcing it to run screens, you're, you're almost hamstringing it because you're just sending it in, you're getting in screens. Ideally, it's dying pretty soon to so get an easy swap and opportunity to your setup sweeper and you go for the win with a setup sweeper. So I, I'm i going to try to free up the Klefki by using a different screen setter in Grimstyle here. And Grimstyle is also fantastic, fantastic at it. Uh, we can also, we have two taunt users or prankster users. So we get a little bit of flexibility around setup sweepers. You know, if you're substituting and dragon dancing on us like that Kingdra was last time, I can come right in, offer a taunt. If Klefki is, because Klefki can't deal with someone behind a substitute so well, I'm sure you can dazzling gleam. If they've already set up, they can kill you before you dazzling gleam. But Grimstall can come in and just taunt instead. So two prankster users gives us some uh, flexibility here. I'm going to go with light screen and reflect, of course. And spirit break is also kind of essential because it's such a good move. We'll go max HP and spadef here. Make my boy calm. Minus attack. Oh, that's not calm. What am I thinking of? I don't know them very well. Sassy? Eh. Where's the minus special attack one? Spadef. Careful. Okay. Well, you know. There we go. We're going to get that up. And so now, okay. So I've, I've, I've done it kind of ass backwards here and started with my suicide leads, but now i can go into my setup sweeper and it was very fun to use the scarf set but a more important important is what i failed to say but what i want to say is important pokemon is tapu bulu i think it's a very key part to how uh mono fairy works it just has a lot of coverage breaks a lot of key walls uh it does have access to close combat right now which is huge but what i'm going to use is a swords dance uh protect horn leech and a high horsepower set very very strong set i can also do close combat though Tell you what, I'm damn tempted. We'll come back to that. I might I might decide later on that I want that to be uh, something else. And I don't actually know what its defensive EVs are, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. Yeah, 164. Why does it need 164? You have to be faster than Rotom Wash. That speed investment makes sense. But what's the 164 Spadef get us? I guess just be generally bulky. I'm, I'm not taking time to read this. Fair enough. I guess just as much Spadef as you can get while still outspeeding Rotom Wash. Makes sense. That's great. And then also another setup sweeper that I quite like is Azumarill. So in terms of the best fairy type setup sweepers, if you go and look through things here, you know, I think Calm Mind, Tapu Fini is really good. All three of these can be good Calm Mind sweepers. Uh, Calm Mind Hatterene, very good. Calm Mind Primarina, very good. But my beef with uh, Fini and Primarina as setup sweepers on an HO team like this is by using a water fairy setup sweeper, it kind of disallows Azumarill. And Azumarill is like God's gift hyper offense. Let's be honest. We'll do the Citrus Berry. Not the thick fat, that'd be funny. Uh, I can do Aqua Jet, I can do Belly Drum because it's one of the best Belly Drum users in Pokemon. And then I'm freed up to do something like Liquidation or Play Rough or Substitute. I am inclined to do Substitute because if we actually get that up on a Pokemon, we are off to the races. And Max HP, yeah, that makes sense to me. I, I Again, I don't know these sets off by heart right now, so I'm going to check really quickly. You do want Max Speed. See, that's why I checked. I wasn't so sure. 
And so now that that's the question is to best support these Pokemon, what can we do in terms of a wall breaker and in terms of a cleaner that can best support them? And all automatically, you look at the top fairy types on this list right here, and Coco and Lele jump right out at you. Coco's a fantastic cleaner. In addition to wall breaker with good coverage, Lele is God's gift of wall breaking, but also runs Scarf very well if you want to be a cleaner. Um, I think though, I think there's almost no way I'm leaving home without Tapu Lele right now, whether it's whether it's Specs or Scarf or whatever. I love it. Psy Shock gives you dual coverage, so even if a Blissey swaps in, you're hitting it really hard. Moonblast, Shadow Bomb, Focus Blast for great coverage. Uh, tons of special attacks. Psychic Surge means that even if you're Scarfed, you're hitting super, super hard. I mean, look at that special attack stat. It's crazy. So I'm not sure. And let's decide if our last mod here is going to be a Sweeper or a, a Breaker or a Cleaner or whatever. I mean, we could do Mimic You, definite Breaker slash Sweeper sort of threat. We could do Gardevoir. We got all kinds of options. But just now jumping out at me is Togekiss. Uh, it's very difficult to deal with once you get a nasty plot up. Also run Defog here. Oh, you can definitely run Defog here. That's food for thought. Instead of Roost or Nasty Plot. But point is, once it is in position, it's very hard to deal with and it definitely breaks open some walls. And if you get good luck, you can break open walls you really shouldn't otherwise, <laughs> which I love. I'm probably not gonna go max speed. It's for Bisharp. I do wanna outspeed Bisharp now that I think about it. Okay, so we'll do that there and the fact that I'm not running Defog, I do want Nasty Plot to maximize its wall-breaking abilities. But this team would get ripped apart without Defog. So I'm going to go back to Klefki again, talking about how it opens up so much versatility for it in terms of its utility. Now it's a Defogger too, so I can keep it alive the whole game and really pop off. Love, love, love that. And I think we're ready to hit the ladder. So this team doesn't doesn't thrill me. I don't think it's the best build ever. I, I The lack of Clefable concerns me because we have no Rocker. And no true Fizz Def beast do it all mon like there's so many chances where you need a good pivot clevable comes in on some mon like let's say my my type of lily can't quite do it it gets a bad swap and i have no easy swap in right now there's a there's a nasty you know uh something hanging in the air over my head and i need a good swap in Clefable does that job so well oftentimes but we're actually going to uh not run it for now i might regret that later but we will not as we come up against a sample team of the mono steel terrifying i am Paralyzed right now with fear. This is a terrible matchup for us. It's a if there's a flaw, excuse me. If there's a flaw with Mono Fairy, it is going to be the proclivity and the power of uh, Mono Steel teams. So I'm going to cheat and check out this team here. Except it's not quite identical. But if it's in this mold, then we know it's banded at least. I don't know. It could be anything. I'm not gonna make too many judgments off that. So you hate to see it. Not our favorite lead right now. Uh, Bulu. Boy, if I lead Bulu, could I Oko Heatran? Because I think that's a likely lead, if we're being honest. Uh, but I'll go Grimstall right now. As they go the Mole, looking for a quick attack. That makes sense, because we cover both of these. Looking for Reflect. I think we live in Iron Head after Reflect. We're Max Spideff. We're going to go for that instead. Fair enough. Let's Light Screen here. As their Life Orb too, actually. Iron Head makes sense. Now, who is my swap in? I think with the screen up, I'll be able to handle them fine with Azumarill, actually. Uh, and we have knockoff to beat everything else. It's actually a really slow team. Yeah, Azumarill's looking really good here, actually. It's all taunt, so they can't... I don't know. I just want them to kill me. Give me a free swapping opportunity. Now I go for my Azumarill. I go for a quick belly jump, as long as they don't flinch me. Looking very good right now. Uh, we're neutral to Iron Head, and this is a Life Warp Excadrill, so we should be quite fine. There we go. We're going to get that off. That's excellent. Now, I'm tempted to do something in case they swap right now, but I'm just going to Aqua Jet. Easy peasy play. Maybe Melmetal coming in. Maybe Aegis Slash. They go to Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is outsped and dies to knock off, of course. They're going to protect, try to drain my uh, screens a little bit here. Not a bad play at all. They're trying to wait till Reflex gone and try to kill me with Shadow Sneak, Aegis Slash. That might work. Except it actually takes it. Oh my god. What? That is psycho stuff. Well, I'll keep this guy alive uh, for down the road. I'll go to Togus for now, as they protect there, obviously. And, hmm. They should be going to Heat Ran right now. So I'll just go for a quick Air Slash. I'll kill them if they stay in. If they went to Heat Ran, I wouldn't be giving them a Fire Boost. Uh, so no more screens for the rest of the game. A little bit frustrating. They go to Mel Metal right now. Huh. Let's go to Azumarill on the sack, I think. And then I can, hmm, 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 It'd be best to just Flamethrower right now. Break this wall. Let Bulu take you and you and oh, how am I beating Corviknight without Togekiss? 
don't think I am. So I'm gonna maybe I should sack send in Lele on the focus blast here. That works okay. It's giving them an opportunity to swap out, which I don't like. Thunderbutt, which, which they're potentially locking into. This is risky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. This is so risky. I, I do suspect they're banded. I don't have a, a, a huge reason to suspect so. Oh no, they didn't swap. I, I think I lose because of that one play. It, just, it was a suspicion that paid off terribly. I could have scouted it with Protect too. Yep, that's too bad. Uh, that's too bad. I mean, it was a tough matchup. It was a tough matchup. I would have been hard pressed to win regardless, but I'll go for like maybe three of these and then Flamethrower, maybe it'll kill. That's just luck. That's look, that's Mono Fairy. Mono Steel's very common, it's very good. You're gonna struggle there to beat it regardless. I think though, if that had been banded, well, here's this thing. So this is dumb on my part. I should have just assumed they weren't banded. I should have gone to my Lele. I should have gone for the Focus Blast there, which probably would have missed like a did just then, but oh well. So I think the, the correct play was to go to Lele, Focus Blast there. With Melmetal out of the way, I can keep my uh, Togekiss to beat the Corviknight. And um, my uh, Tapu Bulu would match up pretty well against Heatran and the Aegislash. So not good play on my part, but I would have definitely, if I, if I mean right and they got a Thunder Punch and they got a free Swords Dance, I would have been in great shape. I would have been, they would have had a huge, difficult time breaking me, but oh well. Not uh, my best performance here. Mono Fighting, they're going to pay us back for a bad matchup with a really good matchup. You love to see it. Uh, no obvious Rock Setter, interestingly. So let's go to Grimstall right now. So they're going to go Terrakion. I'll taunt. This seems to be the HO lead here. We'll see if they respect the taunt and they've just attacked me right away. Oh, there's Swords Dance. That's fun. Well, I'm going to go for the Reflect as they close combat. Doesn't do too much. 46%. They're a Life Orb. Really interesting lead from them. That surprises me. Uh, on a team this offensive, I would prefer to have a Cobalion with Rocks, if that's just me. And also the Cobalion Steel Typing and Defensive Stats, I I quite enjoy. But keeping Reflect up is going to be really nice. Looking at the team, actually, I, I it could be six physical attackers easily. But looking at the team, would be surprised the Kamo'o is like... Uh, a special Kamo O setup sweeper. So I'm gonna respect that as well and go for my quick light screen right now. Then mock punch, no harm, no foul. And now I mean Lele's looking so good. Scarf Lele. Oh, I did not add the scarf. Oh my god. <laughs> Oops. Well, let's add that now. That's less good. But still, it actually outspeeds a lot of them. So that's that's not so bad. Um, plus Togekiss, I, I got I got so many ways to, to win this game. But uh, for the meantime, let's go to you. Let's Moonblast, let's not overthink things here. Should, even without, I mean, they're, they're gonna be caught off guard by the lack of choice lock thing too, here too, which is nice. Do I Shy Shock there so they go to their Shifu afterwards? Or do they go to it straight away? I don't know about that play, pal. But uh, that means, who do you go to here, Zapdos Golar? But again, I better reflect up. I'm feeling pretty cocky right now. I just need to break, and then Tokus can clean it up afterwards. So we're in a good spot. They're going to forfeit. Don't particularly blame them. So we kind of make up for that <laughs> mono steel game really quick there. So two, not really good showcases either way, because one, I just got swept. One, I just swept. I got swept versus swept. I don't know. Words are hard. Hopefully, we'll see a bit of a neutral matchup here so we get a better display of the play style or even another Mono Steel. I would like another crack at Mono Steel so I can kind of get revenge. But Mono Fairy would be a good showcase too. Or Mono Flying is what I meant. But uh, very interesting Mono Grass team. Oh my god. Very, very interesting. Rillaboom. Okay. The Robama Snow is interesting. Can help them against other enemy grass for sure. Uh, let's lead our Grim Snarl as they go to. Whimsicott, so we are immune to them. Thanks to our dark, dark typing. That's fantastic. I am going to... I guess light screen right now on the Moonblast. Oh, of course they're a, a team like that. Okay, that makes total sense. I could have taunted them. But we'll reflect for now. Uh, Sludge Bomb, Venusaur, huge threats. Huge, huge, huge threat. No question. Um, but I do have Clef Key, which helps us a little bit with Thunder Wave. I want a Spear Break, actually, in case they swap. If they're eject button, they're they're looking for that. Okay, that's cool. So Venusaur comes in, and I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm damn tempted to just taunt so they can't growth on me. Um, I'm damn damn tempted. I'll go to Klefki right now. I don't think they weather ball turn one. 
Yeah, now I can Thunder Wave. They're not so scary anymore. We'll sack it to Weather Ball, but not so bad. Oh, and we even get a chance to get up spikes. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. And that gives me a gold old Tapu Lele Psy Shock here. A little bit obvious with the Ferrothorn, if we're being honest. Don't love that. Uh, I could... I think Togekiss is probably the, probably the safest play. It's looking really good this game. All Air Slash. If I were them, I'd probably be swapping out. Let your Venusaur fight another day. It's, it's a poison type against Mono Fairy. I would personally keep it. But I also wouldn't blame them if they go, let's catch an overprediction here and go for a Sludge Bomb. If I kill the Togekiss, fantastic. I wouldn't blame them no matter what they go for. Here we go. We see the Credilly come out right now. Let's scout the damage. Definitely full spadef there. Um, do they go for rocks here or do they go for a Toxic? This is such an important Togekiss. I do fear Toxic, if I'm being honest. So I'm going to go to my... Hmm, I'll air slash once. because I'll get one flinch here. <laughs> and then I will go to... I'll go to Bulu. I don't mind it, especially because it's probably a... Hmm, what is the Ferrothorn, actually? I don't know. Maybe Body Press. I mean, they're definitely toxic. I've got no swap in. I don't like that. They go to Venusaur here. Uh, I think I have speed at this point, so high horsepower should kill. Oh, no! Dude, Bulu, that was pathetic, bro. You couldn't kill a single Venusaur at plus two? That was honestly shameful. Absolutely shameful display. I'm sorry you guys had to see that. I, I, I'll i talk to them. I'll talk to them. That was that was horrible stuff right there. I'm afraid of Aurora Veil. Yep, that was a weird thing to be afraid of, but it definitely banned out. Light screen on the Grassy Glide. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Let's reflect then. Obama Snow, Jack of all trades. I like it. Reflect here as they... Icicle Spear 2. This is a cool set. Props to my opponent. Let's... um. I have Grassy Glide, so it's not great versus Azumarill, but this might be the best chance it gets to set up, especially if they go for an Auroraville right now. But it's not doing so much. I'm going to go for this here. Oh, I'm I'm so disappointed in Tapu Bulu. I built an entire team to show the guy off, and that's the that's the shameful performance he dishes out. That's just... It's going to keep me up at night. Oh, later, Rillaboom. The hail's going to do it. And the more it's coming down to it, Cordelia really, really scares me. I'm going to go to Tapu Lele right now because it's probably just a hit and run Mon. Yeah, they do have it. Yeah, sure enough. Let's well, Psy Shock. Yeah, that'll bait in uh, Ferrothorn right now. I'll double switch to them on my Togekiss. Great. No real swapping for Flamethrower because Credilly with the spike up at 46% is not really living it. Whimsicott, Obama Snow, rough position too. Uh, yeah, later uh, Obama Snow. Probably going to go for Credilly again here. I'm almost at the point at this late stage of the game where I could go for a uh, nasty plot on a Toxic and kind of win. But I'm instead just going to flinch them or crit them and take the game from there. Great. Uh, GG to my opponent. Definitely an interesting team from them. Very, very cool stuff. And that gives us enough time for one or two more, actually, which is great. So Mono Fairy, I think it's pretty viable. Uh, as far as hyper offense goes, it doesn't take a lot of thinking. It doesn't take a lot of thinking to build too. So I didn't quite break it down to the same depth that I did grass or uh, certainly not dark or things like that. But I think that it's just pretty clear that, you know, you have lots of setup mons. If, if you're looking to team building them is my point. You have lots of setup mons. You have lots of uh, Pokemon who use setup moves. You have lots of like, sorry, you have lots of screens and lead mons. You have lots of setup mons. And in terms of Scarf and Wall Breaker and Cleaner, that's up to you, but you have tons of options there too. So hopefully you guys are willing to give it a shot. And hmm. Going with my gut. Going with my gut. As they go, Toxapex. Excellent. Oh. I see. You can't break me, Toxapex. I'm subbing up on your on your Toxic here. You haze? It's fine by me. Maybe I want to do that so I didn't boost it. Is there a check button actually? And Sludge Bomb? Okay, I guess I don't beat you. It's, wow, okay. Sludge Bomb, Eject Button, Haze, Toxapex. That is some psycho stuff right there. Well, in the meantime, Spikes look absolutely insane. As they're going to knock off my leftovers. Not the end of the world. Who are we going to see them swap into here? Pelipper? Do I want to double switch to beat the Pelipper? Or do I want to get a second layer of Spikes? Hmm... I'll double switch. If they stay in at this point, 
against Clefki when they've already knocked off my item with Pex, I'd be amazed. If they knock off again, I think that'd be a terrible play. Okay, they go Swampert. Thank goodness. I, 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 was, I was panicking for a second, thinking they were going to do it. But that's good. Uh, let's go back to uh, Bulu here. As they rock. Oh, or they protect. That's great. So that's a free Horn Leech for me. Nobody swaps in this Horn Leech very comfortably at all. Uh, Sludge Bomb on Toxpex. I'm glad we revealed it because I would, if, if Toxpex came in this turn on this Horn Leech otherwise, I would feel well within my rights to Swords Dance. Yeah, right now, if I didn't know about Sludge Bomb, I'd be Swords Dancing here 100%. But now that I know they have Sludge Bomb, I am terrified. <laughs> and I'm going to quickly scout out the damage of a uh, high horsepower versus Toxpex. 36 to 43. Okay. That's fine. Let's go to our, on a Sludge Bomb. Let's go back to Klefki, why not? The Sludge Bomb, fine by me. Are we gonna see, all oh, Spikes again. They're playing it pretty safe. Uh, let's uh, let's go to Lele here. They're gonna Defog. Gives me a free Lele swap in. And I guess I Moonblast. I don't think they're swapping into Toxpex right now. And Moonblast is gonna do more to Pelipper. Gonna do a ton to whoever they swap into. We see a U-turn, a hurricane, spicy. I don't agree with it, but it's spicy. Um, perhaps talk specs now. Is there a double switch that handles hurricane and handles a talk spec swap? Klefki, of course it is. Yeah, let's go Klefki right now. Great, more spikes for me. Don't mind if I do. And I'm not afraid of a, afraid of a scald right here because they've already revealed that they lose their rain. That is splendid. I think I'll actually Dazzle and Gleam on him. Oh, we get the kill. Klefki. So Rain's gone. Turn 14. Awesome. Oh my gosh. That's a massive swing. Kingdra's no longer a threat. Or Shifu and Dracovish are monumentally less scary. Flip turns on Swampers can do like staggering damage themselves, but that's no longer in the cards. Uh, let's go to... Not to mention any spikes I get up are just here to stay right now. Oh, they did EQ there. I thought for sure they'd go for rocks. Well, they got me. Let's go to Bulu now. Bulu's looking stupid good. The EQ again, fine by me. Uh, let's, uh, hmm. Swords Dance into high horsepower still doesn't answer Tox effects. So I'm gonna swap to double, Tapu Lele on a double switch here. They stay in an EQ, they got me, but not today, not today. So the double switches are really paying off this game. This is, if you ever wanted a good showcase of why double switches can be really effective, this is awesome. Uh, and they don't really have a good swap in for at this point. Uh, Psyshock is going to two at KO just about everyone excepting Swampert. But Swampert, when it's taking that spikes damage, when it's taking everything, except, oh my god. That was the most staggering thing I've seen in my life. Tox effects, you are a nightmare. You are a nightmare. You're taking less, you're taking comparable damage to a Psyshock that Swampert is. <laughs> Man, I don't know what's with fairies and early forfeits, but we are getting a lot. We keep getting these early, these really strong uh, early games, and we don't get to see our end game at all. But fair enough. Uh, I'll take I'll take your points. I'll take your points, everyone. Please, if you don't know what to do to the points, come to me, Nathan. Nathan will take good care of them. I will I will care for them. I will put them to bed at night. I I, I will take great care of your points. This is such a dark screen. Why? I guess it is nighttime. Anyways, let's get another one. I got some different mono water, a little bit more traditional find uh, looking. Um, the Swampert, the Pelipper, I imagine they'll be taking careful care of here. I want to go Azumarill, I believe, because if we see one, two, or three as a lead matchup, Azumarill's great. Um, and I think we are going to see one of those as a lead. If they go to Pelipper, they might U-turn. If they go to Barracuda, probably a flip turn. If they go to Swampert, Rocks are Toxic. If they EQ, the substitute will look very dumb, but I don't really expect that. Let's see. Yeah, great. That's a free belly jump for me. Um, what do you go to here if you're my opponent is a good question. Maybe Shifu with the surging strikes to go past my substitute? I don't know. Either way, I'm getting off this belly drum. <laughs> That's, that is not in contention. Um, they go to Slow King. Just interesting. Because it's, hmm. No, oh, belly drum, what the hell? Let's not overthink things. As they go for what move here? Future Sight. Okay, well, hold this knockoff. Nobody's surviving it. And uh, I've also got an Aqua Jet too, which is gonna be really, really strong if you happen to boost it in the rain. So there goes Sloking. Big, scary Pokemon out the way. Uh, Future Sight is hanging over our heads, but for the time being, I'm feeling pretty comfortable right now. And uh, Aqua Jet is hitting 1800 base power. So good luck with that. 
And so yeah, this Azumarill lead, it would have done really well against pretty much any lead they cared to go against. Swampert was the one I really feared the most because there's a chance that they could predict my substitute and go for an EQ or something right away. But that was not the case. Crawdont gonna come in here. Do I outspeed you, Crawdont? Let's take a look at the old Smogon strategy Pokedex and see what they run in terms of speed on Monotype. Okay, 252. I think I still knock off. This should kill, right? Yeah, nice. Oh, and the Future Sight comes in. I skipped the turn there stupidly, but Future Sight is going to kill us. Not so bad, though. Two Pokemon trading for one. I'm fine with that. And I believe we are going to see Pelipper. My opponent's, this, this is my opponent's exact thought right now. I got to get some offense going. I've, I got to get some I gotta get some offense going. This is this is crazy. So they're going to go to their uh, Pelipper right now, and they're going to walk into the arms of my Moonblast. Do I know my lead matchups or what? I must be insufferable in terms of ego. I apologize. Let's, let's tamp down the ego, but... <laughs> This has been a good showcase for, for lead matchups, at least. And their, their tag is, I eat KFC every day. Let's go. AFC fam. Barascuda is scary, though. Enough showboating. I think Klefki lives one. Or go to Bulu. Let's not overthink things here. I know Bulu lives one. It's 47. Good lord. At least we get it all back with Horn Leech. We didn't talk about that either, because not only was Azumarill good, not only can Lele put in some work against his team, but it's Tapu Bulu. It's one of the better rain denial Pokemon in the game. Go to whoever you want. Go to Pelipper and lose rain in two turns. Fine by me. Stay in with Barascuda. Give me full health. Go to Shifu or Swampert. Give me full health. I'm fine with all of it. <laughs> so I think Bulu is going to seal the game for us right here. I'm calling it. Six turns in, I am deciding. Bulu has won the game for I, Nathan. You go back to your Barascuda. I'm going to mash a protect here actually i do fear urshika right now i think a surging strikes would manage to take us out that's what they're gonna go for respectful respect the, the play not respectful play but it, it was a respectful play in a sense and i don't know who to sack right now because everybody's very good but it's outspied by these two so this seems like as good a, of an opportunity to sack Togekiss as possible as they lock into ice punch which seems to suggest their scarf fine by me i, I sacked this dude anyways um Let's go to you and let's uh let's drop a wee moon blast <clears throat> and so i think that's gonna wrap up the mono fairy live we've had a fun journey so far we used a sems team um i think we're undefeated with this team right now that's pretty cool at this point high in the ladder too that's really cool to see uh bear scooter you're not gonna tank this fella yeah uh, goodbye uh swampert might get one hit in but i will happily trade hits with you do it KO. Oh no, he spedefed out the gourd. 59. Wumpert, my king. Well, I'll go to Bulu right here. But let me know what you want to see next. I mean, mono fighting has been on the docket as a possibility. Oh, great flip turn. Oh wow, good play. Uh, ooh. I'll sack Klefki. Let's hold on. Before I start wrapping up and saying I went 12 and 0, let's 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 go for a Thunder Wave. I do do a good swap there. I can go to Grimstone now. I've just been waiting until I get a chance to go to Grimstone. And once I get a screen up for Grimstone, then the Horn Leech is just going to win. Oh, these plays, though. But yeah, quick reflect if you don't mind. And then a Spirit Break. Man, Swampert's so tanky. Woo! There we go. That's good. Go for your flip turn. I have Light Clay, right? They're just trying to stall the Reflect turns. They're, they're playing this really well. They're in a bad, bad way. But no, they're doing well. Except now our sheep is going to take a big ol' one of these. Yep. Do you even kill me at this point? And they keep ice punching, which is odd. They really want that Bulu swap in. But I'm not going to give them a chance unless I've got this reflect up. Uh, yeah, that's looking like that. Anyways, fighting has been close in the voting for a long time, but flying and steel and water being definitely creeping up there is looking very powerful. You are choice locked, so I will take my horn leech and get back up to full health, and then do the next one afterwards for the win. Did I say GG? Did not, so I'll drop a quick one here. Let me know what you want to see next, everyone. Um, and also let me know what series you want to see me do next. We're kind of in the in the fading moments of uh, of Monotype right now. We've probably got about six left, which is still like more than a couple weeks, but you know, I'm thinking about doing a black and white uh, kind of tutorial into a series. I'm thinking about doing maybe underused, Maybe some Nat Dex. I'll probably go back and do a little bit of AAA and some Nat Dex Monotype too, because there's been a couple of requests for that. But uh, but let me know what content you want to see from me, in short. 
however, that's going to be me done. Kind of a long extended outro there because I just knew turn six is going to win that game. <laughs> so cocky, insufferable. How do you guys put up with me? But anyways, that's me done. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the likes and subscribes and the comments. Please keep it up. I'll catch you next time. Take it easy.